We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Riding in, Jonathan VR, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. And this will miss as well, so he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. And he lays nope. off ball four and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Up Got next it. from Miami Miguel the Rojas lifetime Miguel. in this matchup he's gone Rojas. two for eight. High in the air out towards shallow right. And therefore it is Marquecas and that's your first out. Ready now for the Marlins. Corey Dickerson. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Now a throw over. And he'll be back in standing up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. Set. Here's the 3 1. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. The run is in to score and they take an early 1 0 lead. That is cool. The first baseman, Jesus At the plate, Jesus Aguilar. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Marquez has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Jorge Alfaro, and the Marlins looking for more in the game's opening frame. Dickerson stands at second with two gone. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Two and two. Here it is. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Now at the plate, Ozzy Albies. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Full count, here it comes. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Ramirez is there, one away. Stepping in for the Braves, Nick Markakis. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Marquecas will round it at first and head for second now. And he is in at second base with a one out double. So now to the plate. Freddie Freeman hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this one to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So stepping in, Ronald Acuna, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Even a two and two. The pitch. Marcelo Zuna would be next if they can keep this inning alive. 
Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Second inning set to go. Stepping up now, Harold Ramirez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Ozuna to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Now the one and one pitch. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The center fielder. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring Monte Harrison up to the plate. No contact there, and it's one and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Caleb Smith. The pitcher, number 31, Caleb Smith. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Oh, that's awful. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. half of the second set to go the next to bat for Atlanta Marcelo Zuna as he'll get his first opportunity in this one off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder a three and one pitch might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Fouled off. a slider that runs inside that time and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Full count now three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So striding forward now, Charlie Culberson. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Now a fastball swung on and missed and it's full three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. And meanwhile now, here's a drive out to right center. And this ball is going to clear the wall. It's a home run. To the plate now, Dansby Swanson. 
slow roller down the third baseline. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The now to the plate, Max Breed. One one. Heading out towards shallow right. Ramirez is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway at the plate. Miguel Rojas. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Ball two. I tried to jerk that one and it's two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. The left field, number 23, Corey Dickerson. Stepping in now, Corey Dickerson lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Forge to third, reined in over to Albies. Now over to Freddie, and it's a double play. So base is empty now after the double play, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Pitch is popped up. And the first baseman can't get there. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Jorge Alfaro would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. And that's the third out. to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he popped him up. VR ranging into shallow right and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So one gun for the Braves here in the third and standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Marquez. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Dickerson comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Into the box the now. Base Freddie base Freeman, base. winner of last year's Freddie. Silver Slugger Award for first Freeman. baseman in the National League. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Leading off the inning, Jorge Alfaro, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And a pitch taken here. It's now two and one to the Miami backstop. Fouled away. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Sliding into the box, Harold Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So digging in now, Brian Anderson. He drew a walk his first time up. Brian 
Anderson. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. Two and two now. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Harrison is under it to make the play on the first down. Digging in, Marcelo Zuna. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now in the box, now Travis Garneau comes into this Travis. at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Travis Garneau with an even 2-2 two and two count now. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Line to the right side. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Now that the third baseman, Charlie Culberson. In now, Charlie Culberson. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Here's the two and two. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Two and two. Here it is. Popped him up. Rojas is there for it. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Standing in, Monte Harrison. Sharp ground ball to third. Scooped up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So here now is the pitcher, Caleb Smith. He drew a base on balls his first time up. A 1-1. One -one. Now a swing and a fly ball. On the move is Markakis. And no one will track it down. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. drive and that's a base hit into center field. Now that is the shortstop. Miguel into the box. Miguel Rojas. Freeman is up with it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Josh Rader will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Max Breed flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 
And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Line drive to center field. Harrison is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Back to the top of the order now. Well, that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. Albies is on the move. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Shane Green takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 19. Shane. Ready for another Green. shot now. Corey Dickerson. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the one and one pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Strike two, swinging. Here's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. A full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And this is swung out and missed, so it's now two up, two down to start the, the sixth inning. Jorge Alfaro. Out of the stretch, here's his 3 1 home. Right side. Albies scoops it up. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. No hits to this point. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Ronald Acuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Luke Jackson. It's on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 77. Settling in now, Harold Ramirez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Popped him up. Freeman waits on it. Makes the play one away. At the plate, Ryan Anderson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. One run on three hits and one error so far for the Marlins. 
And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. At the plate now, Monte Harrison. Outside, two and one. One out, nobody on. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Garrett Cooper will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Garrett Cooper. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. Good chance he's not seeing that pitch again. If he does, it's got to be balanced. But I'll tell you, from a pitcher's perspective, that's nothing but a long strike. Here now the 2-2. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The batter number two, second baseman, Jonathan Dion. Into the box now, Jonathan VR. I'll oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Jimmy Garcia gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Here's Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One guy. Here's the catcher, now Travis Darno. The catcher. Darno. The 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. On a line, that's a base hit. Late now, Charlie Culberson hit high and deep is straight away right field. Right fielder looking up. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. Standing in now, Dansby Swanson. And it's fouled away. Oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Ender Inciarte will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Ender Inciarte. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here it comes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. 
Sterling Sharp takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. At the plate, Ozzy Albies. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Darren O'Day will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Digging in now, Miguel Rojas. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the 2 1 pitch takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Acuna comes on now, and he has it one down. Digging in once again, Corey Dickerson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. The 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Freeman's got it and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So here's the cleanup hitter Jesus Aguilar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one two misses for the second ball. And he fouls this one off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping into the box, Nick Markakis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, so it's base clear base that the pitchers ball. need to start making better Ready. pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No Ready one really back. chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. The 1-2. Is taken for ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Will Smith comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Jorge Alfaro. He was a ground out victim last time up. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. 1-1 home. 
Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Up next for the Marlins, the right fielder, Harold Ramirez. Stepping in now, Harold Ramirez. Up high, two and one now. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Fouled away. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton, he didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Three and two, full count. Hit down the third baseline. And this will get by him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 5-3 to three ball game. Now back the center field, Monte Harrison. So now to the plate, Monte Harrison. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3-2. and two. And another foul ball. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Chris Martin gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. John Birdie will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number five. Two out with the man at first. Birdie. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Miami down to their last strike. Got him swinging in the dirt. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, he didn't even break a sweat in this one. Three pitches, he gets the out and heads to the clubhouse to celebrate. Can't do much better than that. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Braves jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Luke Jackson gets the win in relief his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Atlanta Braves, five runs, six hits, no error. They left three men on base. For the Marlins, three runs on seven hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Truist Park, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.